started to play better, you won a couple? Yeah, won a couple, but I got and lost in the second round. So we needed to get one win to make it to the final four, but we didn't get it, but it's cool. Well, I mean, it's, it looks like you guys were good. It looks like you just played well. Yeah, it was all right. Congratulations, man. I'll see you around. Thank you, thank you. How you doing, sir? How you doing? Good. Uh, tell us the people a little bit about yourself, where you're from, yeah. how you came to the Hawks. Uh, um, well, hello everyone. My name is uh, Edgar Sosa. I'm from New York. Um, I'm Dominican. Uh, my family is from the Dominican Republic. And the way I got here was that uh, this past summer I played for Coach Atkinson and, uh, with my national team, Dominican Republic. And played in the FIBA games and uh, had a pretty good uh, tournament. And um, I got the call. It was something that was unexpected. But I'm, uh, I'm thankful to be here. So what did you do when you got the call? Did um, you jump up and down? You... I was excited. Did you, you know? look at the phone like, is yeah. this really happening? <laughs> it was something that I wasn't expecting, but um, I was excited. You know, uh, you know, as a kid, you always want to play in the NBA and compete in the NBA. So uh, being here and having this opportunity means a lot to me. Who were some of the players you looked up to when you were growing up? Uh, growing up, uh, Stephon Marbury, he was, uh, he was everything. He was everything to me. Uh, uh, Allen Iverson, Kenny Anderson, yeah, so many, uh, so many guards that I looked up to that, that I want to be like. So, but those three guys are the ones that come to mind. So, if you had a chance to play one on one with one of those three, who would it be? Uh, Stephon Marbury, <laughs> for sure, for sure, for sure. He, yeah. Because he's from New York. He's from New York. He was such a great player. You know, uh, he's actually still playing in China. Right. I never, I never met him. Never met day. him. Always wanted to, but never. never you hear that, Steph? Sosa says he's looking for you. <laughs> <laughs> so, how long have you been in Atlanta? Uh, I've been here a week and a half. A week and a half? A week and a half. Okay. Yeah. Any places or restaurants, anything that you want to do now that you're here in Atlanta? Um, that you have, obviously, you haven't had a chance to do yet. Right, right. I haven't uh, gone out much. I, I've been to the mall, which is a, a great mall. You hear so much about the city and uh, the great food. and. The people here treat you real nice. It's real, it's real different from New York, you know. <laughs> but I'm yet to go to the nice restaurants and, and eat the good food. But I, I'm looking forward to doing it. Looking forward. Yeah, yeah. Is your family still in the Dominican or are they in New York? Yeah, I have some family in both, but most of my family is in New York. Okay. Yeah. How often do you go back to visit? Uh, I go uh, once every summer. Once okay. every summer to visit. Um, I'm usually in season uh, during the winter and spring and stuff, but whenever I have some free time in the summer, I, I get out there. There you go. Yeah, yeah. What do you like to do when you're not playing basketball? Um, I'm a pretty chill guy. I like to hang out with my friends, joke, uh, hang out with family members. I'm always laughing and joking around. So, <laughs> so you're the prankster in the family. I am. <laughs> I, like to, I like to have a good time. <laughs> Biggest prank that you've ever pulled on someone? Biggest prank that I ever pulled? Well, not so much pranking. Prank. I, I like joke. Okay. So I have uh, my two older brothers. Uh, they get mad at me because like they're both like going to little balls, and I still have like a head full of hair. So I joke on them all the time about being bald. So it was a good time. <laughs> How many family members do you get? You mentioned two brothers. Yeah, I have two brothers. Uh, my mom, which uh, we live in New York, and then I have aunts and cousins, and, and my dad lives in the Dominican Republic, so uh, I, I have to go back and forth. Uh, to see yeah, yeah, yeah. Any chances every, you can get everybody to the game this year? Uh, hopefully, you <laughs> know, if I, if I can, uh, if I can uh, be here and, and actually make the team, yeah, that would be amazing just to get everybody here to watch me play in the NBA. I think that would be huge. How many tickets is that going to be? There's about 20 tickets you're going to have to get for everybody oh, man, coming. man, if you include my friends, right everyone there. from New York, there's a <laughs> lot of tickets. But immediate family, I have a, a small immediate family, so that don't want to be about five, six, no, seven. Six, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they haven't started working on you on tickets yet, have they? No, they not, yet. Yeah, not yet. Not yet. <laughs> well, welcome to Atlanta. Thank you. I'm happy to be here.